This is a quick video uh, going out to Andy and Jordan. Um, they contacted us. They're into the apparently they're into Rhodesia and everything Rhodesian, and uh, they asked us about the uh, Rhodesian uh, A5 we have in the uh, armory. So we told them we'd uh, bring it out and do a little video on it. Now, if you'll notice, it's got the uh, Rhodesian markings on it. They're uh, also uh, very distinctive because of the uh, the long forend, you know, the, the wood forend, which is distinctive of the uh, Rhodesian uh, version of the uh, A5. Um, these were uh, obviously made by Browning. They went to South Africa and eventually made their way to Rhodesia. Um, I'm not going to go into the history of it here but because it's all online. But it's uh, kind of a hard-to-find example we have in the armory that... Uh, that, you know, that uh, just, it's it's what makes uh, the armory unique. We have, we love to have odd examples of different firearms. So anyway, we're gonna do some shooting on steel. Hold on, add this. Why did Andy, I think it was Andy, was contacting for his brother Jordan, who's, Jordan's in the Air Force. Why did Andy reach out to us? Oh, actually, I believe he wanted to buy the A5 off of us. And the answer is? Uh, the answer is uh, no. Yeah, we, we do because not sell we don't sell um, any of our uh, arsenal or armory examples. Yeah. Uh, so, unfortunately, it's not for sale. But, um, Hold but, on. Yeah. but if you have a Rhodesian A5 shotgun out there and you want to sell it to a Air Force uh, kid named Jordan, he would love to buy it. So good luck finding one. Yeah, that's true. So we making this for them. So what are you gonna do today? Uh, I think I'm just gonna load it up and shoot it on steel. Alrighty, let's get it loaded up. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know how many this holds. I think. I think it's eight. Eight, but I think that's seven, and that's all I got in this box, so we'll start with that. Oh, here's, here's a. Okay. Dropped. I think that might be six total. Okay. Well. just talking off film we're shooting um actual hunting hunting bird like it's yeah, bird. it's it's just low brass bird loads but it's know. actual hunting loads not target yeah, loads yeah this thing thumps with yeah that. yeah it does it's a thumper and we were looking at the look at the locking screws <laughs> it needs those so it doesn't rattle itself apart this thing kicks like a kicks it's like a horse got it there too yeah so <laughs> I haven't shot this gun in probably, I don't know, four, since the last time there was a video, at least four years. Oh, every bit of it. I, I mean, looked. I think it was four years. Yeah. I mean, this thing's just been sitting in the, sitting on the rack. Yeah. It's, yeah. we actually don't want to shoot it that much because, uh, you know, the fore end's a little warped. Yeah. And we got to get that worked on. And, uh, there you go. I don't know if you can see it on, on video here. Yeah. See if you look at it from that angle, see how it sticks out. Yeah. It, picked up some moisture in storage not from us it came that way but yeah and see, we're afraid it might see how that ends tight yeah and then yeah you know and and frankly I'm probably it would be okay but I don't want to I don't want to shoot this a lot and and you know and run the risk of cracking yeah, see the we, gap we got to get that worked on so. you know but, but uh, I'll tell you what I shot it I was like Good it's Lord, this it thumps, thumps. 
I don't remember because I didn't. But honestly, when I shot it, I shot it with 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 target loads. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, it's hunting loads. It'll be, I mean, it's bird shot, but it's, it's hunting loads. It'll be fine. It's yeah. bird shot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure it is. Yeah. That, so that recoil on video that you had when you first shot it. Is real. It's real. I mean, I was like, I was like, geez, dude, hold on to the gun. Then I shot it off video and I was like, oh my God. Well, I will admit the the first time I shot it, I had to, I had to like regrip it because I, I really, <laughs> wasn't expecting the uh you know the recoil that it came yeah yeah i'm sure there's <laughs> shit talking us in the comments we've been shooting ars all day yeah <laughs> oh no we shot a 75 there so. oh yeah yeah we shot some 75 right. earlier and so and i shot the uh my vz58 i don't think we got video of that but yeah. you know, so anything but, we want to add before we close this one out for Jor jordan and um andy well um, I guess I can thank those guys for the uh, the shot shells I've got to pick up off the range now. That's right. The rule the rule is if it's metal, it stays on the ground. If it's plastic, you got to pick it up. Yep. So. So. Anyway, right. guys, I hope you appreciate the video and enjoy it.